Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at the danger of browser extensions. Google and Microsoft trusted them. 2.3 million users installed them, and they were malware. How many times have I told people over the years about installing extensions or add-ons into your browser? It's not safe, and by doing so, you're going to allow people to harvest information uh, from these particular add-ons. Now, while browser extensions do add functionality, it can also pose a significant security and privacy risk. Malicious extensions can steal all your data, track the user's activity, also deliver malware or even hijack your account. Even seamlessly legit extensions can become compromised over time, leading to data breaches and other issues. A big long list here, as you can see, now, some of these are pretty popular and have been installed by millions of people, and this was all found by Quay Security. Now, privacy intrusion is a real big problem with extensions because a lot of them need broad permissions. These will access your browsing history, cookies, etc. Now, if it gets compromised or the developer had malicious intent, that could be misused with the permissions that you're giving it to track your user activity your sensitive information that you're putting into your browser and even compromise your account. So you've got to be super careful. Some of these extensions are just created for explicit purposes, which is to harm the user's PC or even harm the computer. Some of these contain malware, stealing your data or even redirect users to malicious websites. And people install these all the time. There's also outdated extensions that haven't been updated for a very long time. And if you head over to the Chrome Web Store, you'll see popular uh, extensions that have been promoted by YouTube channels. For instance, some of the big YouTube channels have promoted Honey, and there was a major problem with that one in the past. And this just goes to show you the risk factor of installing an extension onto your browser. So these could also be used for phishing or social engineering. Some malicious extensions can be used to trick users into revealing sensitive information like your passwords or credit card details through phishing attempts or even social engineering tactics. So these can also have a major performance impact on your PC and your browsing experience. Certain extensions can slow down your browser performance by causing crashes or even freezing and sometimes making the pages take ages to load because you have far too many extensions installed on your browser and that's why i never install uh, browser extensions now i know a lot of people talk about privacy and microsoft but i bet you any money a lot of those people have browser extensions in their browser which is also a major privacy concern and they probably don't even realize because when you give them browser extensions permissions, they are literally being able to harvest all of your searching habits and all of your other uh, dirty little secrets that you do online. Now, some of these extensions can cause data leaks and it gives them access to sensitive information like your login credentials, cookies and other browsing history, potentially leading to data breaches. Now, if you have any extensions that are turned on, you may want to turn them off and you may want to remove them. This is a built in one with uh, the browser here. I've left it on there just to show you. And this is from an antivirus program that I use. I don't have it turned on and I don't use it. But if you want to get rid of it, just click remove and it will remove it from your browser. So if you are going to be going to uh, the Chrome Web Store or even the Edge Web Store where you're going to download uh, extensions just be very careful because there's plenty of them on there that could be dodgy now they are doing their best to keep up to date and remove a lot of this stuff but you've got to be super careful when clicking on things and installing them into your browser because you are then given a permission to basically do all sorts of stuff so before clicking install be cautious and suspicious of any extension that you're installing into your browser if that browser extension is suspicious or it's acting peculiar, then report it. You can see right here, even this one right here, this extension is no longer available because it doesn't follow the best practices. And yet 100,000 plus users have installed that onto their browser, which is quite scary. Now, if you do like using browser extensions, 
then you should regularly audit your extensions and go through and literally remove the ones that are outdated or just not working correctly or you don't use it anymore. So let me know in the comments section down below whether you use browser extensions and what ones you do use. And be careful because you should do your research because some of these will contain malware or they could be harvesting all your precious information. So don't be going in the comments section and talking about Microsoft privacy when you could be giving up your privacy with some of the extensions that you do use. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.